Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another small land vehicle and the second one I've showcased on the Lockmart series and that's thanks to you recommending this in the comment section of one of my videos. So for today, we are looking at the Lockmart M577 APC, which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a small APC from the Aliens franchise I personally have never seen it before, but if you're a fan of the Aliens franchise, then maybe it's familiar. Yes, pressing F10 and finding the 577 in the spawn menu. There it is. This thing is 1,735 small blocks using the Wayland DLC pack and decorative block number two. It features no mods and has everything about it written on the workshop page. So we'll give this a thumbs up. We'll have a quick look around the outside. Then we'll drive it around a bit on this modded planet which does look very good. It changes quite differently when you get far away. It becomes a black blob with a few bits of lava on it. So back over here at the very front, this is what we get. We've got ourselves a lopsided setup where on one side we've got this little slit, which is how we're going to see outside and drive the vehicle. And on the opposite side, we've got ourselves a static turret made out of two Gatling guns with a camera in the middle. Now I initially thought that this was gonna be a rotor setup. If we just drop down here, Nope, it's just steel blocks, so it cannot turn around. Just below that, we got ourselves two Wasteland DLC spotlights with the letters 2D made out of our letter blocks. And as we were to move around the side on this side, what we're going to see is a bunch of this grey, greenish coloured blocks and a hinge right here. So this hinge doesn't really seem to do anything, it's just there for decoration. And we do have an LCD screen unfinished acting as a handle. So this will just simply open up and allow you to peer over to here. This is mainly like a little control panel where you can pretend you're doing some electronic stuff, or maybe even refueling this. But yes, it is just there for decoration. As we continue along the side here, we've got our standard wheels to drive this thing around. Right over here, some little bits of decoration made out of our blast or edge blocks and some more unfinished blocks. And then towards the back here, another wheel, a piston head, some added decoration. And at the very, very back here, in the dark, we have this weird thing right here. And I think my game just crashed. No, it did not. Not too sure what happened there. There we go. So yes, at the back here, we got ourselves a rocket turret, which we can, at the click of a button, fold it up and around, and it'll sit at the very top here, at the end of this gap. So we'll use this to shoot forwards with the camera at the front near our Gatling guns, because once again, you cannot turn it around with a mouse, despite it being on a rotor. As for the other detail, we got our traditional interior lights acting as brake lights, if we were to come in front of the gun, we do have an ejector acting as an exhaust, and we do have a little camera to help us back this thing up and park it in place. A small ladder there just to get on top and do some repair work if you needed to. And as we were to move around to the opposite side there, what we're going to see is a fancy sliding door. So this has been done on a piston where we hit that button, it'll slide all the way across like so, and allow you to get in and out very easily. We'll come back to that a bit later. If you were to look up and above on this thing, what you will notice is the whole roof is slanted. Yes, thanks to a rotor, the entire roof has been sloped down. It's mainly there to give it that sleek look, how it tilts towards the front. Yes, as for the rest of the top, we got little bits of decoration in the form of some steel blocks and some unfinished interior lights. We got some unfinished catwalks right here on some random blocks. And there is a hinge which is angling the roof. We also have a few more LCD screens and unfinished interior light along the back here with another red light at the back which we can turn on and off if we wanted to. If you were to come down and underneath the thing we're not going to see too much just a bunch of rotors which is how our seats on the inside are going to be angled and lifted slightly off the ground. Got a checkered white and red blocks right here which is where the door is going to slide in front of and we can see how the bottom has been made completely out of blast or edge blocks. Then we come towards the front there. We've got two little arrows pointing towards the front in case you spawn it on top of yourself. And there we are, right to the very front once again. So that is a very brief look around the outside of the Lockmart M577. It does look fantastic with how it's been set up and some very good use of the hinge block has been placed into this. So grabbing hold of my character, what we're going to do is just come around over to this section right here and we're going to press the button. As you can see, it very smoothly moves across and allows you to get inside without needing to jump. Go and look at that again. There's my feet. And there we go. 
So turning around and facing towards the door, we've got a safety officer only seat who's going to be controlling the door to lock you inside and prevent you from escaping when, say, a scary alien is trying to crash itself through the roof. Yes, we've got some seats in here for your passengers to sit on. We've got a lovely control seat sitting right here. It's such a simplistic design. It's simply half steel blocks. We've got our little triangle parts and our flat just on the back of an interior seat. But it does add a nice bit of detail onto it. We can sit on here where we can see on our LCD screen if any pesky aliens are trying to sneak up on us. Over on this side, we've got our scanners to see if anything's on the horizon. Coming out of there and turning around, we do have a survival kit to respawn on and to recharge yourself if you took damage in combat. Then turning towards the front, we've got ourselves a control seat right here, which is going to be how we control the gun on the back and the front. So bring the free camera over and facing it towards the back, we're going to bring up the HUD and press number one. This is going to fold our rocket launcher all the way around and the piston will move it towards the front. And now we're ready to fire it. So there we go, we now fire the rocket launcher and we can fire the Gatling gun. There we go. We also have a projector being used as a laser sight to help aim it forwards and a camera to peer straight forwards. So here we go again. There we are and there's our Gatling guns. So coming out of that, turning off our laser sight and tucking the rocket launcher all the way back down again. So there it goes all the way to the back and it'll fold down and cover up the ladder. A very neat way of hiding it and keeping it out of harm's reach when you're going through a tunnel. Coming out of that and turning towards the front, what we're going to see are two control seats as well as two cargo containers to store a few bits and bobs inside, such as ammunition for the turrets or maybe even a gun and ammunition just in case you need it. So this seat on this side is our co-pilot seat where we're going to control our antenna block, our beacon on and off, our survival kit on and off and cameras to peer what's going on. So we've got straight forwards, we've got straight behind us and we've got a interior view. We've got to come out of that and come onto tab number two. We then got a sensor block on and off, a sound block on and off, and then a sound button that we can press, which will say a alert to inform everyone that you're in danger. But it's not currently doing it. It seems a little inconsistent, but I'm putting that down to space engineers being a little funny with the sound block. Coming out of that and moving over to this seat. This is our primary control seat to drive this thing around. Number one is going to be for our hydrogen engine on and off. Number two is for our reactors on and off. And number three is for our batteries to auto or recharge. So we've got plenty of different things to power this. So if you're not happy with reactors, don't want to have the batteries, we can use our hydrogen engine to scoot around. Number four and number five is to raise and lower the vehicle. So we can just raise that all the way up if we wanted to and drop it all the way back down. Number six is our artificial mass on and off. Number seven is for our spies just underneath the front there on and off. There we go. And number eight and nine is for our cameras forwards and backwards once again. On tab number two, we then got shots for our turrets once again, where we can raise it up and fold it towards the front, put our laser sight on and fire it straight forwards like so, as well as controls for the Gatling guns at the front once again. So turning that off and tucking that all the way around again. Eight and nine is for our antenna and beacon on and off. And on tab number three, we've got nothing else. So driving this thing around is generally what you would expect. It's extremely slow, and extremely heavy to the feel of it. So just turning around here, this is what we get. We will need to make sure there is a large open area to allow us to do a full 360, because we're not going to be doing too well in a tight area. Yes, we can just shoot our rocket launchers straight forwards if we want to, shoot our Gatling guns, we can turn on our laser sights, and we can even fold it back while driving around. As for the actual controls on the side here, I did find a hinge to open up that side door, so bring the sun all the way around to get a better look at that. There we go. If I come into here and find the hinge, which is going to be for the side door, unlocking that, reversing that, and there you go. That's what's on the inside. So like I said, it was just steel blocks, but you could always remove a steel block and put a cargo container inside there and have it as a secret compartment. Yes, as for that, there's not too much else to talk about. We do have a very limited view at the front here, so we are completely reliant on our camera to see what's coming up in front of us. <laughs> I think that's a cliff edge. So we're going to have to end this video here as we fall all the way down into this lava zone. It's not proper lava, just a texture. But down we go to the ground. And, well, we seem to be generally in one piece. Doesn't seem to be too much damage. We've lost our door on the side there. And the vehicle is folding all the way around. About to come out of here, squeeze out that little corner. We are completely upside down. Copy and pasting that. Doesn't seem to be too much damage. So there we go. 
got a very solid armoured vehicle to drive around and hunt dangerous aliens. So there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download it and play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you Dukes. it's a fun little vehicle and a lot of novel stuff is going on with it and it's made some great use of the hinge blocks. So thank you all for watching and I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.